So you want to know how to find long tail keywords, eh? You want to improve your SEO? Well, let me show you a technique that I use to find long tail keywords that is quick, easy, simple, straight to the point. And you can actually find keywords that are going to benefit you. So instead of just putting a keyword into you know some tool, I like to start by going to Google, put the main keyword for whatever service I'm trying to provide or product, uh, whichever. In this case, we're going to be creating a boat rental service in Phoenix, Arizona, theoretically. And so I'm just going to type in Phoenix boat rentals. And I see this first site pull up, Scorpion Bay Marina. So I'm just going to right click, copy the address. So that's the URL. And then I like to use this tool, SEMrush, which I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up for a trial and use this tool and all these features and stuff but essentially once you get logged in you can put their URL into the search bar up here click search and then head over to organic research here and you'll find a bunch of different keywords that they're ranking for so 4.7 thousand keywords here in fact we could even just click on this and see over time how their rankings have changed but I'm trying to find some long tail keywords that I can rank for so that we can start renting our boats out in Phoenix, Arizona, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm seeing a bunch of different terms here, nautical, boat storage. I'm going to filter these keywords down using some advanced filters. And I want to have any keyword that contains the word rent and also any keyword that is of a certain length. So let's say it's greater than three keywords or three terms, meaning search terms that have three terms or more in them that also contain the word rental. Now all of a sudden we've got pontoon boat rental near me and we can see over here the keyword difficulty, right? So I, I'm not a huge fan of this, this metric because it's not always the greatest indication of how difficult it's going to be to rank for a certain term, but it is some indication of what's going on. You can see these are all kind of in the middle. They're not like 95 or <laughs> anything that's going to be crazy difficult to rank for, right? They're sort of on the lower end, which is good. That's kind of what we're looking for. And we could even make these, you know, more specific and have terms that have at least four key, uh, keywords that have at least four terms in them. But this is going to be, you know, sailboat rental near me, houseboat rental near me, Squirrel Lake, boat rentals. Uh, this has cabin rentals in it, so I'm not sure about that one. But what I would do from here is export this list of, of keywords and actually sort through them. And then repeat the process with another competitor and another competitor. The reason I like to use Google to find the top ranked competitor and look at the keywords they're ranking for is because they're, they, you know, they've been doing this for a long time. They put a lot of effort into ranking these pages and they're probably not going to continue to spend money to rank for these pages and put a bunch of effort into it if it's not bringing them results, right? So by finding the top ranked site and somebody that seems to already be having some results in this niche, we can go after terms that we don't need to guess whether they're going to get us benef beneficial traffic or not. We can just more or less assume that because you know several other companies are all targeting these main keywords here that those are going to be the keywords we want to go after. So you can repeat this process for several competitors of yours kind of see what it looks like and start to figure out exactly what keywords you want to target that are long tail that are going to be easier to rank for they're going to bring you some effective traffic that I want to buy from you right so I hope you found this helpful if there's anything you did have questions about don't hesitate to reach out you can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there if you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. 
This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade at one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm gonna show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm gonna show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably gonna start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.